have to continue to work at it no matter what the challenge is and find that person who's going to push you to inspire you. And for me, that, that's Mama Sharp. And her FFL is my mom. So I got to work with both of them, and it is wonderful. Oh, man. <laughs> Tell us what your name is again, and then we've got to go. We've got a bunch of callers on the line. What was your name again? Tiara Robinson. Well, such a pleasure having you on the show. All right, let Thank me move you. to caller in 707, caller in 707 area code. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you guys? We're doing wonderful. We're having a blessed show. What's your comment or your question? Well, my first and foremost always is I love your show. Just love it. <laughs> and everyone who's listening out there, keep listening because this is the place to be on Thursday. All hands down to the Queen, Kathy. Love you, love you, love you. By the way, this is Dale Shea from Worldwide Music Alive. And hey. I just want to say that I call her sister Sharp. <laughs> well, my husband started calling her. <laughs> You're amazing, Kathy. Just amazing. I was really inspired by your last caller. She was very, very, very sweet. Now, yeah, she is. my question she is, where do you get the time? Cause, so that everyone knows, she is also on the board of Worldwide Music Alive. Where do you get the time? That's a really, really good question. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me, when do I sleep? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, there there are priorities, you know, and especially when we're – vertical is not year-round. It is – a lot of the stuff that we do is during the summer where the kids are – desire for it to be year-round. I want it to be year-round. We just don't have the funds to be able to do it year-round. But as far as getting the time, I, I don't know. I guess I just make it a priority. And because the kids are such a help and the people that God has blessed me with, I mean, because they're such a help, I, I don't know. I guess it just all kind of works out. Sleep is rare. Sleep is very rare. <laughs> do you have sort of an end-of-the-summer program like a graduation or some type of ceremony like that? No, what what I was trying to do was get it so that every three months we would be able to put on a show. Finances mm -hmm. just has not allowed us to do that. But usually what it is, is is we'll create a show, and then as we see it coming together, even you know to the point where we know that it's getting ready to, to be performed, then usually within that month I start you know looking at the venues, and within a month to two months, you know, we're hitting the venues and, and doing the shows and, you know, doing what we got to do. So you actually go into venues with this? Yes, and, and it, that's very, very important to me. And the reason why it is, and thank you for, for asking about that, the kids that I work with, it, it's real, they're not used to, a lot of times they're not used to seeing anything done in a real professional manner. I'm, I'm talking like, you know, real big time, you know, big time stuff. I love to show them that because I love to show them, look, if you put your all into something, you can be a part of something that's real professional and put back into society. And one of the examples would be we, we did a, one of our performances um, that we did was at a place called the Joan Cross Theater. Well, the Joan Cross Theater here in San Diego is, um, is very professional. I mean, they have the kids all wore headpieces. They had the green room. They had... You know, everything that you can think of in modern professional theater they had. And, you know, you had the white glove ushers. You had, you know, everything. The kids were ushered in. They were ushered out. They were told what to do, how to do it, when to do it, you know. And and when I first brought them to the theater to show them where they would be performing at, I had the guy open up the curtain. When they opened up the curtain and they saw the, the where the audience would be sitting and how beautiful it was, I could hear every single one of them. I mean, they nothing came out of their mouth. They were in such shock. And what ended up happening after that, this this is one of the first plays that I did, and it, and it just so blessed my heart because at the very end of their very first performance, the kids left the stage, and I was standing up there thinking, oh, my gosh, you know what's going on, and, and um, they're all gone because I was trying to get them to come back up on stage and take a final bow or whatever. And when they all came back on stage, they had all left and put on suits and ties, long dresses. They got completely formally decked out. And this was something they totally surprised me. I had no idea they were going to do this. They came out on stage. Of course, I start crying, you know, like a big baby. But what they began to tell me was that they understood then, at that point, they understood what it meant 
to walk in success. And from that point forward, I was getting calls from different people saying, what happened to my kids? You know, we've got these kids walking around dressing different, speaking different, acting different, you know, understanding how they can affect society. And that's all I really wanted to do. I can't do it in an environment where they don't see a professional environment. I want them to see, look, you know, if, if you do this, you know, I'm not going to have you performing, at, you know, in a dirt lot. I want to see you, there you, go. you know, in a place that where you can affect, you know, you can really, really make a strong effect. You could be here. And, like, okay, they did a, a recording studio thing, and what I did is I took them to not somebody's garage recording studio, you know. I decided to take them to a real live recording studio. We did a whole picture thing. We took pictures with them, you know, and, and everything, and they actually recorded one of the songs that, that they did on the play. And it was incredible to see them at work. Again, it was another side where they came out, and they were like, man, you know, we didn't know that you could do all that. And I said, yeah, look, you know. All this you can have if you, you you know, if you work the work. You just have to work the work. That's all, you know. You can't do it walking around cussing and sagging. It just ain't going to do it like that, you know. So if they had, I think for me, if they had a chance to see those kind of venues and work in that kind of environment, I think it made a change. It made a difference. I don't think it would have affected them as much if, if I brought them to, you know, some, uh, you know, backyard stage, and you know, you had about 20 people clapping their hands and say, "Ooh, we," you know, that they're they look nice. I didn't want that. Well, I think that uh, San Diego is definitely very lucky to have you. I wish that there was a <laughs> whole lot more Kathys that I could uh, clone. And on behalf of <laughs> Worldwide Music Live, we're definitely happy to have you on board. Continue. Thank you, Della Shea. No Thank problem. you so much, Miss Della Shea. And you continue to get your bad butt on this show. Go ahead, y'all. Have a nice day. <laughs> All right, we've got another caller. It's area code 619. Area 619. Welcome to the show. Yeah, hi. Um, I'm actually, uh, my name's RJ Sharp. I'm I'm Kathy's son. I'm over oh. here. <laughs> Welcome to the show with Mama Sharp. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm actually, I was just listening in, uh, you know, I, I wasn't too familiar with the show. I'm, I'm glad I, I tuned in today. Uh, this is this is amazing. She's over here. She's in tears, and I'm in tears over here at the house. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I mean the main reason why I'm I'm calling is because um, I, I wanted to go ahead and and back everything she's saying up uh, as far as uh, what she's done with vertical. I mean, I was when I first when she first started it, I, I was one of the young ones. I must have been 14, 15 years old, and I mean, it, it really, it really matured me. You know, she was, she was one, a, a great mother. Thank you for that. And then uh, on top of that, I see her, you know, out um, doing what she was doing and, and, and making a positive, a positive difference for everyone as far as my friends and, and giving us a place to go to after school. I mean, that, I mean, we, we felt important, and, and that was. I started to see that as I got older. I'm 21 now, and I actually uh, help her behind the scenes with everything uh, with vertical and. And I, I see her vision now, and uh, you know I don't think I've ever actually had a, a good chance to to thank her for for everything that she's done. So I Aww. decided to call in, and in, in front of everybody who's watching this show right now, you know, or listening in, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I thank you. And I love you for that because you you changed my life more than just you know any mother would. I mean, she kicked off my my own personal business. You know, I I was able through Vertical to uh, you know start my own production company and. And uh, life has been great, you know. What's the name of your production company? The RGS Productions. We're a, a film production company. We work uh, a lot of things in here in San Diego as far as uh, local music videos, or we'll do promos for uh, small businesses. And you know, we've been we've been open out for about a year and a half, and and things have, has been booming lately. And I mean, it's it's been great, you know. Uh, they are incredible. Oh. They're I've watched this team. I don't mean to cut you off, RJ. I'm sorry. Okay. I've, I've watched their team at work, and they are, oh, my gosh, he's got a great team of people, and when I see them at work, I think they're off the chain. Okay, I'll shut up now. <laughs> well, thank, yeah, thank no. you so much for calling in. Of course. Uh, for everybody in the audience, everybody in the chat area, this is definitely one of the most empowering shows that we've had. <laughs> I'm going to take a, a quick break and come right back with you.
come from, where I come from the ground.